I'm going to read a Buddhist sutta on love and hate. It's called Love and Hate. And the reason why I feel this is a fitting sutta to make a YouTube video about is that it really gets down to these duality and the the different intense emotions of love and hate and in the popular media at the moment is a um, is a lot of emphasis about hate hate crimes and hate speech and um, so it's really quite a relevant suitor the the this duality between love and hate is being exemplified by uh, at the moment with this big um, massacre in New Zealand which is apparently by a white supremacist and this is a political term white supremacist um, as an artist and a poet I don't really agree with these political labels and and they talk about um, labeling in the the Buddha talks about labeling in this sutta on love and hate and it being one of the root causes of this suffering to do with love and hate and so black and white is really it's not just black and white as a poet and an artist I see white as a color and also calling a person white is quite poor English it's basically slang so calling people black or white it's really it's really nonsense slang and it shouldn't be popularized per I personally think for many reasons but but to the point there is friction between people we're all just people and this suffering is caused by these cravings born of love and hate between people and and you know I looked at the Arabic website Al Jazeera a YouTube video reporting on the um, the massacre and in the comments section there was a lot of this kind of language that was hate speech and it was it was regarding um, it was a lot of a lot of interracial hate speech and and specifically against um, people from the country of Australia and 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 obviously I've encountered its opposite um, from these nationalists or um, racial racially charged people from the other spectrum of the the racial duality that is really an illusion in itself as well because we're all basically just shades of brown there's no real black or white but nationalism and racism are are these false dichotomies that become toxic but the Buddha here from two and a half millennia ago explains all the different causes of these kinds of love hate tensions. So I'll read you the sutta. The Buddha says Mendicants, these four things are born of love and hate. What for? One, love is born of love. Two, hate is born of love. Three, love is born of hate. And four, hate is born of hate. And how is love born of love? 
It's when someone likes, loves and cares for a person. Others treat that person with liking, love and care. They think, these others like the person I like, and so love for them springs up. That's how love is born of love. And how is hate born of love? It's when someone likes, loves and cares for a person. Others treat that person with disliking, loathing and detestation. They think, these others dislike the person I like. And so hate for them springs up. That's how hate is born of love. And how is love born of hate? It's when someone dislikes, loathes and detests a person. Others treat that person with disliking, loathing and detestation. They think these others dislike the person I dislike, and so love for them springs up. That's how love is born of hate. And how is hate born of hate? It's when someone dislikes, loathes and detests a person. Others treat that person with liking, love and care. They think these others like the person I dislike, and so hate for them springs up. That's how hate is born of hate. These are the four things that are born of love and hate. A time comes when a mendicant enters and remains in the first absorption. At that time they have no love born of love, hate born of love, love born of hate or hate born of hate. A time comes when a mendicant enter, enters and remains in the second absorption, the third absorption and the fourth absorption. At that time they have no love born of love, hate born of love, love born of hate, or hate born of hate. A time comes when a mendicant realises the undefiled freedom of heart and freedom by wisdom in this very life, and they live having realised it with their own insight due to the ending of defilements. At that time any love born of love, hate born of love, Love born of hate, or hate born of hate, is given up, cut off at the root, made like a palm stump, obliterated and unable to rise in the future. This is called a mendicant who doesn't draw close or push back, or fume, or ignite, or burn up. And how does a mendicant draw close? It's when a mendicant regards form as self, self as having form, form in self, or self in form. They regard feeling as self, self as having feeling, feeling in self, or self in feeling. They regard perception as self, self as having perception, perception in self, or self in perception. They regard choices as self, Self as having choices, choices in self, or self in choices. They regard consciousness as self, self as having consciousness, consciousness in self, or self in consciousness. That's how a mendicant draws close. And how does a mendicant not draw close? It's when a mendicant doesn't regard form as self, self as having form, form in self, or self in form. They don't regard feeling as self, self as having feeling, feeling in self, or self in feeling. They don't regard perception as self, self as having perception, perception in self, or self in perception. They don't regard choices as self, self as having choices, choices in self, or self in choices. They don't regard consciousness as having as self, self as having consciousness, consciousness in self or self in consciousness. That's how a mendicant doesn't draw close. And how does a mendicant push back? It's when someone abuses, annoys or argues with a mendicant and the mendicant abuses, annoys or argues back at them. That's how a mendicant pushes back. And how does a mendicant not push back? It's when someone abuses, annoys or argues with a mendicant and the mendicant doesn't abuse, annoy or argue back at them. 
That's how a mendicant doesn't push back. And how does a mendicant fume? When there is the concept I am, there are the concepts I am such, I am thus, I am otherwise, I am fleeting, I am lasting, mine, such is mine, thus is mine, otherwise is mine, also mine, such is also mine, thus is also mine, otherwise is also mine, I will be, I will be such, I will be thus, I will be otherwise, that's how a mendicant fumes. How does a mendicant not fume? When there is no concept I am, there are no concepts I am such, I am thus, I am otherwise, I am fleeting, I am lasting, mine, such is mine, thus is mine, otherwise is mine, also mine, such is also mine, thus is also mine, otherwise is also mine, I will be, I will be such, I will be thus, I will be otherwise, that's how a mendicant doesn't fume. And how is a mendicant ignited? When there is the concept, I am because of this, there are the concepts, I am such because of this, I am thus because of this, I am otherwise because of this, I am fleeting because of this, I am lasting because of this, mine because of this, such is mine because of this, thus is mine because of this, otherwise is mine because of this, also mine because of this, such is also mine because of this. Thus is also mine because of this, otherwise is also mine because of this, I will be because of this, I will be such because of this, I will be thus because of this, I will be otherwise because of this. That's how a mendicant is ignited. And how is a mendicant not ignited? When there is no concept I am because of this, there are no concepts I am such because of this, I am thus because of this, I am otherwise because of this, I am fleeting because of this, I am lasting because of this, mine because of this, such is mine because of this, thus is mine because of this, otherwise is mine because of this, also mine because of this, such is also mine because of this, thus is also mine because of this, otherwise is also mine because of this. I will be because of this, I will be such because of this, I will be thus because of this, I will other be otherwise because of this. That's how a mendicant is not ignited. And how does a mendicant burn up? It's when a mendicant hasn't given up the conceit, I am, cut it off at the root, made it like a palm stump, obliterated it. So it's unable to arise in the future. That's how a mendicant is burned up. How does a mendicant not burn up? It's when a mendicant has given up the conceit, I am. Cut it off at the root, made it like a palm stump. Obliterated it. So it's unable to arise in the future. That's how a mendicant is not burned up.